Yeah, what's good everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. This is officially NBA 2K20, the full game. Now check this out, man. It's time to get this video to the light goal. And for this first video of NBA 2K20, we need 10,000 likes on this video, man. Make sure you guys spin with that like button. But we're about to go into the, my career. We're about to go ahead and create our build, our player, everything. And along the way, I will tell you all about NBA 2K20 in a nutshell. And man, it's a lot of information. Just to let you know, it'll take you probably an hour and a half to build your character. We get to tell them. Let's do it. Hey, 2K fans, I'm Alexis Morgan. And I'm Chris Manning. We're from 2K TV. And today, we just want to take a brief moment to tell you how excited we are about NBA 2K20's My Career Mode. Once again, 2K has managed to further blur the line between game and reality with the most authentic and engaging experience to date. Building your legacy begins with building your My Player. You're totally right, and that's why the first thing you'll do this year is set your potential using the brand new My Player Builder. I have literally spent hours experimenting on all kinds of different builds. The Builder basically lets you create your own archetype from scratch. Absolutely, we've given you the tools to build your My Player however you want. I even got to choose my own takeover. <laughs> well, there's so much more worth mentioning, but you really have to see it to believe it. So, from all of us at 2K Sports and 2K TV, we hope you enjoy NBA 2K20's My Career Mode. All right, guys, so at the recording of this video, the My NBA 2K20 app did not exist. So what I want you guys to do is if you want a face scan for your player, you need to go ahead and hit the App Store, whether you're on an iPhone or a Galaxy, Android, whatever the case may be. Go ahead, go download that app. Go get yourself scanned into the game. Most likely, I will be dropping a face scan tutorial because you know my face scans are always on 1,000. But um, I just want to show you guys the different faces that are coming to NBA 2K20, as well as some of the same faces that are returning. It, um, to be honest, a lot of the faces are returning. Um, it's only a few sprinkled in that are brand new, but for the most part, you're getting the same faces. I know that that's kind of a letdown for most people, but to be honest, if you're gonna be creating a unique self, a unique you, I would always go the face scan route. Even if you're gonna be using one of those crazy masks like the Chucky Dow or the V for Vendetta uh, mask or something like that, I'll, I will always go with scanning your face. Now, just to let you guys know, I am speeding this process up because a lot of the things are the same as far as hair within the creation of your player. Now, everybody knows once you hit the barbershop, that's where you'll go and see some of the different hairstyles. But just to let you know, I did not hit the barbershop. I did not go into the whole neighborhood, my park scene to make my player a little bit different. So I created the standard guy, made a ball, gave him a beard, changed his skin tone, and I can't lie, even without a face scan, <laughs> bald dudes with beards do look the same. <laughs> I ain't even going stunt, man. But listen, let's go ahead and get into the creation of this character. All right, guys, now, if I didn't let you guys know, that was only step one. This right here is step two into creating your player where you have to choose all your vitals, like your name, your last name, your position, your handiness, your jersey number, everything like that, as well as trying to figure out what you want to make because if you choose a different position you're going to have to come all the way back to the screen if you want to change your position so say for instance you wanted to create a 6-5 point guard and you feel as though something is a little different so you try a shooting guard you would have to literally back up step by step in order to change just the position and then go back in and change everything all over again so I, i'm gonna let you guys know now know what you want to pick and then start from there now Let's go ahead and get into the third part of creating your character, which is your skill breakdown. I know that a lot of things leaked on Twitter as far as cell phone footage and everything, but hopefully this video right here gives you guys 1080p crisp looks at what you guys can have in your skill breakdown. Now, since I did choose a guard, I'm going to choose the play sharp skill breakdown. I know that you guys are looking at it just a playmaking and shooting, which is more of that pie, but I call it the play sharp because I've played 2K19. If you have not played 2K19, you will say, hey, I'm going to choose the one with the most into shooting and playmaking. <laughs> so just to let you guys know, 
as far as being a play sharp and 6'4", 6'5", type build, I'm going to go with maximum agility. I want to be fast out there. I want to make sure that I can get past defenders with that quick first step badge and things of that nature. Now, a lot of people talked about the physicalities and stuff like that, but nobody really talked about the attribute upgrades. Now, as far as the points go, I got 412 points that I had available. Those actual attribute upgrade points will change and differ in builds, height, and everything like that. So when you're making your certain build and you choose your pie and whatever you wanna upgrade, things will actually change as you go in this build had 412 i'll be dropping a video today which will have a small forward build which will be a lockdown he will have more attribute upgrade points remaining to use for his player now check this out if you want to make a play sharp i advise you to definitely upgrade some of your finishing simply because you don't want to be one dimensional in a sense you don't want to be just one of those people dribbling outside and every time you have to look for a shot it has to be a shot outside you want to make sure that you go ahead and put your finishing up so that you can get some more badge upgrades and in order to break that down guys you cannot and i repeat cannot go into playmaking upgrade your pass accuracy upgrade your ball handle and not touch your post control if you do not upgrade your post control you will not get more badges for the upgrade so if you guys see it i have post control maxed out which gives me 23 playmaking attribute points towards badgers now if that makes any sense to you guys as you guys can see i'm taking things away from finishing and the badges the attribute points for that badge is, is decreasing and here you see when i put my defense up the badges are going up so it's really a give and take thing 2k will not allow you to just upgrade maybe my mid-range shot three-point shot and free throw without the post fade because i wouldn't have 22 shooting badges if that makes any sense to you guys hopefully it does i don't really want to confuse you but all I can say is whatever you want your badge upgrades for, you have to max out every point in that category. You cannot leave anything out of it because you won't have the upgrades necessary that you may need to give you a little more of a push in the sense when you hit the park or pro-am or rec. Now, let's move into the next part. I chose compact on a body. Um, there's many different body builds. You guys will see that inside the creator. Now, this is where I was a little tricky about what I wanted. I, didn't, I wanted a 6'5 character, right? But if you notice at 6'5, the ball handling goes down. And you notice at 6'3, the ball handling is perfect. You can literally have the good ball handle. You can have the good speed with ball and be able to go crazy with this character. And even making him thinner does nothing for your ball handle. So you can literally have a heavier player and just go crazy with just your defense, or you can have a lighter player and just not have good uh, interior defense, if that makes any sense to you guys. Now, one thing that does matter the most is your wingspan. I'm sorry to say, but if you wanna make a somewhat taller player, you're going to have to go with the T-Rex arms if you want high ball handling. And this is a message to all the play sharps out there, all the slashing playmakers, all the uh, pure sharps. If you want better ball handling and shooting, it's all about the wingspan. Also, wingspan does play a small part into defense when you're a play sharp build, but if you're a small forward defending build, your wingspan plays a huge part in your defense, which is of course much smarter because you're a bigger person, much more wingspan. It makes sense for a taller player to have higher wingspan. Now, if you guys see with this build, I have a 87 mid range three point, I'm, I'm sorry, mid range shot. I have a 88 three point shot and I have a 89 ball handling which is good now choosing your takeover is really it's all up to what you want now you guys see this is supposed to be a play sharp build but i was able to choose playmaking i was able to choose shot creating i was able to choose slashing or the uh sharpshooting uh takeover i chose sharpshooting but i believe with this takeover it's a little different whereas though now it's more set to 
if you're a sharpshooter you really have to kind of stand still and everything like that and you guys also seen that my build really kind of goes into like a Kyrie Gilbert Arenas and Steph Curry type of build which is perfect because it's mainly playmaking a, a, a great shooter you know what I mean so that's why I technically call it a play sharp now the reason that I'm backing out is to make sure that I get the best bang for my buck at the height at the weight at the wingspan now you guys see that this is a 6'4 minimum weight 76 wingspan and I think I like that build now when I go to 6'5 and I go minimum weight and then I bring my wingspan all the way down I can also have this player speed boost as well so you can make a 6'5 point guard that can speed boost that can momentum and have a pretty good mid-range three-point ball handle and pass accuracy all right that's just to show a, a couple different things I would never make a 6'3 character and I would never make a 6'6 six, 6'7 six, six, point guard all right never it would always be 6'4 or 6'5 guys never go too crazy with it all right now like i told you guys i get to choose four different takeovers at this build which is insane having that ability now also another big thing when you hit 95 overall there is no rebirth mike wang told me that there is no rebirth in nba 2k20 because the road to 99 is so much shorter guys so much shorter also just to let you guys know you can test out this player at a 99 overall like i told you guys in my tweets but when you get to 95 overall and you're chasing 99 there's actually a rep system within 95 to 99 overall all right as i talk to you guys about this you can check out some of the uh, badge upgrades that i have here but when you're 95 to 99 it's all about how you play online offline everything right so if you get to 95 right and you go to the park and you stink it up you might lose like five to six games straight your rep is basically your overall the the rep system for online now is tied to your overall so if you make it to 99 you better not be getting dropped off because if you're getting dropped off your overall will now go down it is now a point system within the overall system so just to let you guys know as well as that when you get to 95 overall you can then swap badges you can swap takeovers at will so what that means is if i'm a play sharp and i'm at the park and i know that i'm playing with a stretch and a glass cleaner right most of the time i really won't have dimer unless it's a, a cheesy jump shot but if i'm not playing without dimer and i decide okay i'm going in a wreck where there's adding two more people maybe a defender maybe a slasher or something like that i'll put dimer on hall of fame and then take away from another badge that i might use at the park maybe it's one of those badges like giant slayer or something like that or you know you know what i mean like i wouldn't put on something that i wouldn't use in a wreck and i wouldn't put on something that i would use in a park if i was a wreck player if that makes any sense to you guys so 95 overall really is the place you want to be I, that's why with this build that i'm going to be creating especially when i recreate it when the game drops this will be my build until i get to 99 i will not make another build until this build is fully kitted fully done so i am chasing 99 and i know that this kind of pisses people off because they're like yo the road to 99 is back uh i can't stand it but for all the people that were complaining about having some type of rep system within online i think this kind of makes sense right because this overall how your player plays i don't believe that any player can just grind to 99 at uh offline like in my career and then come to online and think that they're gonna keep that 99 if that makes any sense to you you know what i'm saying so once the rep system starts from 95 overall to 99 i believe that that player now has to start going into online and playing and everything like that because like the way mike wayne broke it down he was like hey it's no more just you know what i mean seeing a couple couple people rep up you know what i mean in the beginning of the game early like it's going to be a race so people like poor boy sin uh people like hank the tank like people that, the people that play the game a lot online are going to benefit from this especially if they don't lose games you know what i mean so that that's really dope but let's talk about the badge system for a moment um choosing your badges is epic 
if that makes any sense to you guys it is literally epic okay when i mean epic i mean this is probably the best thing that i've ever seen in my life because no player no one player will be the same as another player ever even if you guys are watching this video and you're going through the badges that i'm choosing right now you take your little screenshots or you record or anything like that when the full game drops I might not even be using these badges that I chose in this video because I'll have that option to sit down. Like I said, it'll take you about an hour, hour and a half to create your player. I'll sit here and go through badges that I feel like are best for my build. And then I'll choose from that what I think I'll need to start things off because I know once I hit online, I'll definitely be playing a little bit of Pro-Am, definitely be playing a little bit of Rec, but for the most part, I'll be repping up at the part heavy trying to get to those different reps and stuff like that so when i choose my badge system it's all about what i want and how i want to play and that goes for you as well so if you're watching this video please don't sit here and look at my badges that i'm choosing and that i'm going through because literally this entire shooting one that i'm going through i'm losing my mind trying to figure out what i want and what i don't want and you guys notice that i have a lot of bronze badges and not many hall of fame and not many gold and not even one silver yet and that's me just going crazy and i don't even have any upgrades now i have six bronze one silver two gold two hall of fame i know it's going to be players out there that choose four hall of fame badges or three hall of fame badges three gold badges like it's really up to you you know what I mean? If you feel like, okay, I need Hall of Fame, uh, 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 then it's, it's totally up to you. Don't watch this video and say, yo, why are he picking on them bronze badges? Because when you think about it in hindsight, when we look at NBA 2K19 and we saw how many bronze badges we got and how many they upgraded when you hit 99 overall, none of that will happen here. None of the badge upgrading from like 98 to 99, you don't get another upgrade in badges. Hall of Fame is all that they go. So when you're grinding your badges and your badge progress, that's how it'll go. Also, the grind for badges is totally different this year, guys. It's all about the amount of points that you put into the badge itself. And let me explain that for you a little more while we go over playmaking. So if you choose five Hall of Fame badges, right? and you know you have that that many potential upgrades now remember one hall of fame badge costs four potential upgrade points so with this playmaking that i have right now i can get five hall of fame badges in one gold badge because i have 23 points available and you guys see right now i have three hall of fame badges already and i still have 11 upgrades available which means two more hall of fame badges and one gold badge and i could be set but of course i wouldn't build my player that way but let's get back to the badge grind right so in my next video i will be actually testing out the my player but it'll be a video that'll drop today where i'll actually be playing in the my career setting and you guys will see the potential upgrades and the badges and everything like that basically in order to grind your badges you have to play towards your build so that means if i'm a play sharp i should be dribbling i should be making my badges activate from dribbling i should be making my shots making my badges activate from shots for the badges that i choose and those points will accumulate to the upgrade so let me put it to you like this all your badges when you choose them they're still there but what happens is as you earn the potential upgrades you can choose what badge you want to go to first so if i feel like okay i'm a play sharp and i need limitless right or range extender now i can upgrade that one badge four times straight you don't have to grind it oh my god it's taking a hell of a long time to silver oh my god it's taking a hell of a long time to gold oh my god it's taking forever to get the hall of fame because of the point system that point system no longer exists it's a new point system where every time you get an upgrade you choose which badge you want to upgrade which is amazing because who wants to grind a hall of fame badge for 17 hours doing the same old move every single time I could literally sit in the corner, go into like maybe the wreck or something like that, and just sit in the corner the whole time, shoot a whole bunch of corner uh, specialists, get my uh, mid range that I or whatever badge that I have, and keep upgrading limitless the whole time. I don't never have to shoot a limitless shot in order to get the limitless on Hall of Fame, which is so, so good.
good. It's so, so good. But one thing that um, you guys are going to want to understand about the badge grind is if you are, let's say, a play sharp, right? And you see how low my finishing is or how low my defense is. Those badges, if I can get past defenders in a 2v2 or a 3v3 at the park, those badges will go up the most if I'm doing that type of play style. So if I'm dribbling, dribbling and slashing on people, getting layups and stuff like that, the finishing uh, points will go up. But as you guys will see in my videos later today, my shooting and my dribbling was the only thing going up. But uh, I definitely want to thank you guys for coming through to this video um, solely because I know it's a lot of information. I know a lot of people are writing down things at this uh, part right now, but I can say that I'm really, really happy with this My Player Builder because it gives a real unique feel to everybody's build. Like I, I'm hoping that you guys don't like, cause you know, I, when, I, when I say I got the best build or I make a, a creation video or something like that, I make it because I wanted to show you guys what I'll be playing with this year. But I don't want you guys to just say, okay, this this build right here, okay, he picked those badges, and okay, I'm gonna create my player just like that. I don't wanna see that. I want you to choose what you will wanna do. You know what I mean? Like if you're a pure sharp, for instance, right? If you're a pure sharp and you only play limitless, you only like range extender, you, you like uh, dead eye, you like corner specialist, that's cool. I don't wanna see you because I maxed out my moving post move shot or something like that. I don't wanna see you choose to make that badge Hall of Fame too. Maybe I'm just better at taking moving shots and I feel like I'll trust my moving shots over what you would trust. You know what I mean? Like I don't want you guys to just make my build and be like, oh, all that, oh, this is it, this is the one. Nah, make your own, be your own person, but make sure you choose some of the right badges for your build. You know what I mean? Because right here, I have four bronze finishing badges. I know you guys are like, why wouldn't you put a silver or gold? Because I only have four upgrades. So with me, if I if I have acrobat and contact finisher and relentless finisher, those badges will help me in the park. I know for darn sure they're not gonna save me in a wreck in a pro-am, but at least I know that'll help me. And you guys see here, potential upgrades. I got two Hall of Fame, two gold, and two silver on shooting badges. But I know that since my build is not a pure build, I know I shouldn't be having three to, you know what I mean, five, maybe six uh, pure Hall of Fame badges like how a pure lock would have had in last year's game. Now, this right here is me choosing the screen. Um, like I told you guys, you get to test out your build at a 90 overall, I mean, 99 overall, and that's why it says test your potential. And I was just trying to figure out what team I wanted to be on. And of course, you already know who I am, man. I'm a Sixers guy. And it's crazy saying Ben Simmons at the power forward, but hey, I know I won't see him at power forward this, uh, when, the, when the actual NBA starts. I know he'll be at the point. Um, also, I chose to go up against the Celtics. So in the gameplay that you'll see in another, I would say maybe five to 10 minutes, I hope you guys enjoy because this is going to be a gameplay where I won't really talk much. Um, only when I pause the actual game, I want you actually to hear the commentary and, you know, get that full feel of like the my player builder for yourself. But um, like I said, man, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope I explained enough for you guys. And make sure you guys get this video to 10,000 likes. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. And turn on notifications. This is IKC signing out. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.